That was good. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Bismillah. Uh, live long DC. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum uh, salam. <laughs> alhamdulillah. You know, as usual, you know, this is a faith based conversation uh, with uh, centered around opioids and uh, the community uh, sponsored by the American Islamic Heritage Museum. You see the logo over there on the side. And uh, the DC government and other people who are trying to help, um, you know, have a conversation. But, but before we start, we always start with prayer. And we let the brother email uh, Bilal lead us in, in the prayer, uh, opening with uh, our off-repeated prayer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, just for Sister um, Beverly and Bernetta, where it says Milati Islami under my name, my name is uh, Bilal, Bilal Prather. Um, and Ibrahim gave my title, which is like uh, to the Christian minister, Reverend is to Imam is to the Muslim minister. But you all can just call me Bilal. Now, Malati Islami, the reason I have uh, had to use that for Zooms is because um, that's my organization and it means the path to peace. And I do a lot of Zooms and for the recognition of my organization, that's why my name um, is my organization's name for clarity anyway path to peace and it what it is it's an it's an islamic version of the 12 step methodology and it just has some you know the 12 aa NA, and all the 12 steps might say we we admit to god the exact nature of our wrongs we 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 submitted our will to god's will we just replace the word god with allah for this reason a lot of the Muslim brothers and sisters coming home from prison, they would not participate and they would not, um, you know, uh, follow any particular methodology for following up their recovery after coming home. So we have to Islamicize, if you will, or adapt an Islamic version of the 12 steps. So that's why instead of my name, it says, Elahi Islami. Let's open. I'll give the prayer in English first. With God's name. Bismillah. Bismillah means with the name of God. With God's name, the merciful benefactor, the merciful redeemer. All praises for God, the guardian, the evolver, the cherisher, and sustainer of all the worlds the merciful benefactor, the merciful redeemer, the sole judge on the day of judgment. We worship you only and we turn to you begging assistance. Um, Guide us on the straight way, the way of those on whom you bestow blessings, not those who incur your wrath, nor those who go astray. I mean, amen. I mean. And the, the Arabic version, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Same thing. We're just going to say it in the Arabic language, as this is the opening chapter of the Quran. So, as Muslims, um, conscientious Muslims, we learn to say and read the Quran in, in, in its Arabic as well as we learn its English meaning. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Malik Yawmiddin, Iyaka Na'budu, Wa Iyaka Nasda'een, Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqeen, Sirat Al-Ladhina An-Amta Alayhim, Ghayr Al-Maghdubi Alayhim, so 
So thank you for that introduction. Take it away, brother Sheikh Ibrahim. Alhamdulillah, me. All right. So um, first of all, let's welcome our guest, uh, who I'm um, very uh, exaggerated when she said I knew her. <laughs> Beverly is really the one who knows her. You know, they're lifelong pals and BFFs. So I'm going to let Beverly tell us all about who we have the pleasure of having uh, in this uh, conversation with us today. So go ahead, Beverly. Tell us about, tell us about Vernetta. Tell us who we who we have in front of us. Unmute your mic. Good evening. Good evening. All right. It's it's my it's my pleasure and my humble honor to introduce you to Miss Bernetta Elmore. Bernetta is a wellness, holistic healer and coach. Um. We together have worked on a number of projects, both um, behavioral as well as physical um, health uh, initiatives around many things, but particularly around the healing of the body. Uh, Bernetta owns an organization called Be More Healthy, which I've been a consultant and a, and a partner at times in that um, business. But most importantly, she has had many clients that she has su successfully helped beat multiple addictions, including addictions to um, prescription drugs, uh, street drugs, numerous people to, to go through her behavioral cessation program around smoking um, cigarettes, as well as um, rejuvenating their overall nine dimensions of health you heard me speak to in the past. Uh, the spiritual part of, of her business complements what you all are doing here um, with the opioid crisis. Uh, she, I met her uh, many, many years ago in the 80s and we wow. have been in touch ever since and we work very closely together. She supported me in the many grants, uh, Brother Belil, that I have, I, um, I have uh, successfully received. As a matter of fact, she was instrumental in introducing, well, she didn't introduce it because somebody else brought it to the sports side of Winston-Salem State, but she was able to introduce um, the alkaline water machine to the wellness center, which I was the executive director on the campus of Winston-Salem State, which was really huge because it meant that our students at the time have access to good, clean water. So without further ado, she is, I call her the water guru. <laughs> so uh, without further ado, I introduce you to Miss Bernetta Moore. Thank you, Beverly. <laughs> um, just to give you a brief history. I was born in a funeral home. My parents, I have five siblings and my parents moved into the funeral home right the year before I was born. So my entire childhood up until junior high school was upstairs in a funeral home. Two or three doors up the street was a pharmacy. Two pharmacists, operated that store six days a week. And I became their assistant at six years old. They gave me a cigar box to handle the candy counter. Well, I grew up in that store. 
And I got the opportunity to witness how and what was being done to our people. I saw pharmacists, pharmacy people walk in with a piece of paper and something scribbled on it. We couldn't read it. It was just scribbled on it. And I had to take it back to the pharmacist and they had to fill these prescriptions. And I had to bring it back and hand it to them and watch them come back two or three days later. And the doctor and the pharmacist asked them, well, how did it work? Oh, it was awful. I have suffered all week. I watched narcotics. I watched heroin addiction. I watched all of these things as I grew up from six years old and worked in there to 16. Wow. When, when my, my uncle got leukemia in 1979, I promised him that I was going to find out the truth. And I was going to turn over every rock there was until I found it. And that I would never let anybody else suffer the way he did. I became a flight attendant after college traveling the world with Pan Am. And I started to ask questions. What is cancer? No one could give me an answer that felt good. So I had to find out information that doctors told me, what you know is dangerous. I said, oh, well, I am not going to keep it to myself and I'm not going to see anybody suffer the way my uncle did. So I began to question everything to find out because I had to be the caregiver for my younger brother who left here too young at 46 years old and watch him being medicated heavily with, with opioids and, and watch my mother go through four amputations in three months, knowing that that was not necessary. Yep. But for some reason, somebody had to get paid, so they had to bring her back into surgery every week until they were satisfied that all of these surgeries were insurance was taken care of. So I got, I, be, I mean, this became my mission, my ministry. When I started to figure out that. Everything is attached to an emotion. Every illness, every disease, every issue is attached to an emotion. And I watch the addiction of my peers all around me just become so out of control mm -hmm. that we were burying people on a constant. Yep. And when I started watching, even as a flight attendant, watching my peers dropping dead of AIDS, I started questioning everything. And when I first started to find out, hmm, the truth about cancer is it's a vitamin deficiency. Yep. When it was removed from our diet, naturally, you're deficient, your body is going to react. So I began to ask that question. If we need to become balanced, yep. what areas do we need to focus on? In this water research and business that I've done for over the years, I learned two things. Balance your pH and manage stress. Stress is the number one acidifier. Mm. Who can go through a day without some of that? So when we start to think about pain, where does pain come from? And we began to focus on the real reason we're in pain. Mm -hmm. We got to go back to the map of consciousness first. Because the map of consciousness was designed to show us that it starts at 20 and it goes to 1,000. 
Well, 20 is shame and humiliation. 30 is guilt and blame. 50 is hatred and despair. 75 is grief and regret. 100 is fear and anxiety. 150 is anger and hate. 175 is pride and scorn. And if you are vibrating anywhere between 20 and 200, your body, your mind is completely out of balance. Mm -hmm. So when you start to raise your vibration and raise your frequency through receiving the right pH uh, items for your body, being hydrated, super hydrated, yep. getting the nutrition that your body has to have, detoxing all of the the horrible things that are being pushed on us right now. We have our work cut out for us. But <laughs> now, now Bernetta, let me say something. Let me interject real quick. Please. Um, now, psychologist's oldest uh, definition of addiction is basically that a person has a lack of self-control. Yes. You know, they don't know how to, they want to abstain, but they can't resist that temptation. All mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. They can't resist it. They, that's, they had a, that's how they break it down. So, you know, even with all this diet and everything, if that person desire don't outweigh you know that craving uh, they don't uh, they really um want to stop you know what i mean all of that other stuff um which is helpful mm -hmm. you know um you know email can you speak on you know on that for a minute i know that's your approach kind of about uh, abstaining and self-control and you know, temptations. Well, you know, that's my life story as a person uh, uh, who I describe myself as uh, uh, experientially authentic. It means I've been there and done that. <laughs> in, in the mid 60s, all of, all of, all of major urban uh, centers in America there was a epidemic of heroin use among the black community. Mm. So been there and done all of that. Um, but the funniest thing in this journey called recovery, and, and Ibrahim, I'm telling you, you're going to get in trouble using that word addiction still, because okay. even, um, I've never heard it put that way, but that's a big mm. part of what might describe addiction is having no, no self-control, if you will. Right. Um, most of the people who end up getting into really bad trouble with habit disorder, it could be eating, sex, drugs, alcohol, right. Right. And, and on down yeah. the line. Gambling. It's, yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. So, you know what we have found, and I'm 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 eternally grateful for Almighty God um, giving to mankind the twelve step approach, along with other things. I mean, you can get sober in the church and becoming Muslim, uh, but the 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 single most successful methodology for staying clean one day at a time is voluntary, voluntary um, 
commitment to the 12 step um, philosophy. Mm-hmm. But what happened, what we found out in the, in the 12, the people who know about um, the fellowship, we, we had problems in childhood. A lot of this stuff mm-hmm. started in childhood, you know. Um, and I, there's just human beings, you know, we, we're made in such a way that we're on a pleasure or pain continuum. And then when you look at it this way, see, society, this, this, this material society tells you you're going to feel good if you have money, if you have this, if you have that. No, we people like me found out that if you had everything, you you still still is enough is never enough for a person like me that enough was never mm-hmm. enough for. And that. Um, the spiritual part is has to come in that only God between God and ourselves can bring about the change I I like to put it in a sort of a poetic way what is it required to go from tragedy tragedy to triumph think about that tragedy to triumph so can I, can I interject here? Brian? Well, let me, let me, I'm going to finish what telling you what it takes. It takes hope. That's it. And okay. faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not yet seen. So it's a spiritual recovery that leads to a, a recovery in any other aspect of our life. Go ahead, Beth. Thank so, you. So this is, this is a great time to talk about what it takes to, to, um, cross the to to have the spiritual and bring about hope, mm-hmm. but you gotta get the physical uh, detox. Of course, and first, of course, for your mind, mm-hmm. because the twelve step program is based upon uh, the theory of behavior change. Yep, and 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 if you you know. Um, Skinner, the great psychologist, B.F. Skinner, yeah, he said, All we have the capacity from zero to five. That's who that's when we develop that ability oh, yeah. yep. to have that type of, of, of we are equipped to change, but mm-hmm. we forget it as we become adults. Yeah, we, we have those, those natural, innate things that we're born with. Yep. So how do we help the people that we're trying to reach that have, have no hope, Brother Bilal? So first, I, go ahead, excuse me. Um, yes, Samir. Okay, no, excuse me, because I just wanted to add, because I thought, and I got it for you, uh, Sister Burnett, because the, it is the spirituality, but, and it, but it is also physical. Yes. Now, and, and 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 and, and where you would stop at, uh, um, the, your your points of degree. I, I'm I'm calling degrees when you said 75, 20, you know, so yeah. forth. A, a, a different thing. mindset of mm-hmm. anger and hatred and all this. I mean it, that that is to recognize that process uh, uh, within your food intake because yeah. I you know I come up from that school school. Uh, you are what you eat, mm-hmm. okay? So I do know that we got to improve upon our intake. And I do know that certain foods cause or uh, uh, have different effects on us, on, on different things. A- so exactly. That's where approach, I was going. I was going to talk about... Holistic, yeah. And in your Excuse holistic me. approach, uh, are there certain food? I mean, how do you identify, how do you help someone out with identifying or assessing their particular needs, uh, you know, because of their habits or anything. Is there like some pattern or there's some type of food or some type of analysis you 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 apply to or work with? Um, I would like to share something with you guys. When I noticed at one point 
that I was dehydrated, that my it was like a foggy mind. My my mind was was, you know, like a cloud was over my head. And I began to look at my lifestyle and realize that if I wasn't drinking one half ounce per pound of my body weight minimum every day, every cell and organ in my body is suffering. So if I now get a, a water, not coffee, not alcohol, not tea, not Gatorade, but water, if I get that water that has that alkaline, alkalinity to that water, mm-hmm. now I am pushing out acid waste out of every cell in my body. Mm-hmm. When, when I spoke to 44 young African-American men and said to me, I don't drink water. I don't drink that stuff. Five out of 44 wow. were consistently drinking water. So if you're raised on on chemicals, junk food, all of this stuff, and you've never been introduced to what real mm-hmm. water flooding every cell of your body, and you, like you pee like a racehorse when you begin to do that, and it releases all of the excess body weight, it brings you back in balance because mm-hmm. now you 70% of your body is now water. We born in right. 90% water. Yep. That's why the baby is so soft. But by the time people die, they're 50% water. So when, when I was trying to figure out how to really deal with the stress of life and all the things that are coming at us, where they're giving us GMOs and, and chemtrails and spraying us and all of these things are going on, that we want to detox But in order to do that, I had to really figure out something. And that was, I found out through quantum physics that we can't, am am I creating it feedback? I think so. Oh, I am? Okay. Turn down turn, Turn down your mic, turn down your volume some. Okay. I think somebody got their TV on in the background. I don't know. She might have hit us with one of them quantum <laughs> pulses or something. Hey, you had to do off the off the satellite. <laughs> <laughs> but but but, but uh, that, we just gotta let it keep let it flow. Don't let it stop. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, keep going. But I wanna, Bernetta, can I just interject one thing back? to response to Brother Bilal about, uh, to, to Brother Amir asked. Now, food is connected to emotions. And the type of food we eat, it has been shown that people who eat rare meat com- have committed, this is research, evidence-based, have, mm-hmm. have, have committed murders in a short period of time of eating very rare meat. Yep. That's very, so So our mm-hmm. emotions are connected to our intake. That's right. And if we're going to be able to ever get to the point where we're open enough to get to a 12 step program or anything that's like that, we gotta first get to where we understand how substances, drugs, food, uh, sex, any of that thing causes us not to be in control. And, and it starts with Maslow at the bottom. We, we feel those physical basic needs first, and, but we got to understand and teach our clients how that's connected to emotions. And then a lot of times they have to go through biofeedback and 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 there and 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 um and hip, hip hypnosis to be able to get to the point where they're open enough, brother Bilal, to their tenure program 
And and you see what I'm saying? I just wanted to put that in. One hundred percent in agreement. Um, let me just share this. A friend of mine was a nurse for thirty years. She suffered with multiple sclerosis. Mm -hmm. And I watched her suffer. She would, it would take two weeks to, to do everything, to recover from one little event that she do. Well, someone told her about a doctor in Atlanta that was doing clearings on people. Mm -hmm. She left her home in Boston, came to Atlanta, went to his office, and the first day she walked in his office, he hooked her up just to the electrodes, just so that they could see what the liver was doing, how much anger and stuff was in the liver, what, you know, the, the, the grief that was in our, our kidneys and in our body. And what happened was they unlocked a toxic memory that she had locked away as a child. Mm. And that memory was of her father hitting her sister so hard it was blood on the wall. So she remembered that event and was so angry when she walked out of that office that evening. But she came back the next day and they cleared that memory from her consciousness, completely cleared it. The instant they cleared it, MS was gone. Wow. She now trains doctors all over the world. Amazing woman. And when I saw that, and she brought me in to do it on me to see, and she would ask me, what happened at five years old? And for some reason, I would remember this event, but it wasn't, luckily for me, it wasn't trauma. But we don't realize just a hor horrible argument is there. Mm. There are so many locked away issues in people's bodies. I was putting stones on a young lady and she just began crying and crying and crying and I didn't, didn't know what was going on. And she finally said to me, thank you. I said, for what? She said, I saw myself being molested as a child and I saw who did it. She said, now I know why my relationship with men has been what like it is all my life. So at that moment, her life transformed. She got married and had two children because she released that one toxic emotion. So when I talked about this quantum energy thing, I came across a technology and it's one of a kind technology. Two and a half years ago, somebody called me, I mean, sent me an email and said, look at this. Well, when I opened the email, I saw Dr. Von Cook, and that's all I had to see. Anything he was doing, I needed to know. I said, okay, I'm in. Well, he had a subscription, which was on a telephone app, a phone app. And the subscription was called Limbic Arc. He named it that because of the limbic brain. So the subconscious and the conscious mind, you know, they, they have to connect, you know, in a way that we can receive the right information that we need. So Dr. Cook, what he did was he was able to extract nutritional frequencies and store them in the cloud. Well, most people say, in the cloud? I say, when you get in your car and a voice come on in your car to say, turn left, turn right. You don't question it, you turn left and you turn right. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we have, I've always wanted to own a health food store. Well, I don't have to own a health food store now that I got that subscription. Mm -hmm. Because what Dr. Von Cook did, he started a company called Zyto, Z-Y-T-O. Zyto is a hand cradle. 
that is extremely expensive that a lot of practitioners around the world have paid huge money dollars for. And Dr. Cook realized that the everyday man can't get that. They can, nobody can afford that. So he said, I'm gonna give you a subscription for a hundred dollars. And I'm gonna let you share it with eight people for $10. Mm -hmm. So that day I said, well, hundred dollars, I'm gonna check this out. So I had it downloaded on my phone and I had to drive for five hours in pouring rain at night and my nerves were shot. I was out there on that dark road headed to the East Coast, water racing up on the side. And I realized I had that app. Well, I went in it and the first thing I saw was stress relief. I clicked stress relief and sent myself a boost of nutritional products for stress. Really, and in nanoseconds, all the stress was gone. Hmm. I so let, let me let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. In terms for substance use disorder treatment, are you saying that this is a a treatment for substance use disorder? See, um, substance use substance use is and imbalance because we are nutritionally depleted. Yeah. We don't have the nutrients that our body need to balance itself, mind, right. body, and spirit. Mm -hmm. So when your body receives, if you are running around with scurvy and you eating all the vitamin C and everything else, your body could have so many toxins that it's not connecting. The two don't have Right. Shape. Right. So you got you got cravings. <laughs> yes. And you want to relieve those cravings. Mm -hmm. Now, if you own a substance, you know, I'm I'm trying to understand how. Okay, let me just explain this. The way he how, said, the way he set it up was. Mm -hmm. He's giving you boost ingredients that are proprietary. These are the best of the best ingredients. So you now have all the amino acids, and you can have 20 acids, but having 22 is trillions, trillions times better for your body having all the mm -hmm. amino acids. You got all the rock flower remedies. You have mm -hmm. chemicals, which is oxygen, the chlorine dioxide, Epsom salt. Then you have every enzyme from amylase, bromelain, uh, papain, lipase, mm -hmm. peptase. You got all of the essential oils. Every right. And what happens is you are now getting the real energetic frequencies that you don't have to take that pill because right. it will okay. go through your biology, your digestive right. system. And by the time you get that, you still need so many more. Well, well, well what, are, what, are, what are some of the herbs? Uh, you just mentioned some of the things that you could uh, suggest first, that people would take. First, you got the American herbs. So with the American herbs, you have the side berry, alfalfa, acerola, aloe vera, barberry, bay leaves, beet leaf, berberin, bergamot, and I'm just on the bees, bilberry, black okay. walnut, bladderack, blessed thistle, blood root, blueberry, burdock root. Okay. You got capsicum, cayenne, celery, chaparral. And now you got the dandelion. You're now dealing with the liver. But this is the most beautiful part of his technology. He has what is called a custom spark scan. So what that means is I would speak for 10 seconds and my voice was analyzed. And now my body chooses everything that is needing and missing. So it may go through and find out that I need something for 5G and 4G 
this EMF that's attacking us at every level, uh, cell phone towers, TV emanation. Yep. I can hit, I can hit the imponderables and protect myself from all of that because I'm getting the frequencies that my body needs and wants. Can I, can I, can I say something? Sure. Okay. Yeah. We we're gonna talk about the population that DC that they're dealing with right now, Bernetta. They don't have phones. They don't have access for these apps. We okay. want to talk about what is practical when when you're out there doing outreach and you're okay. trying to get to the people because every okay. most of the excuse me one second everybody does not have a phone. Everybody okay. don't have the ability to afford maintenance of app, but some things that they can do that are very basic to help change their emotions, to get to meditation in the park. Brother Ibrahim was telling me about his food outreach. One day they went out and delivered food. And the next thing you know, they had a park full of people praying. They hadn't prayed. And so we talking about very awesome. basic stuff that we can get to. Uh, and right. I, I, Brian, right. share, that, share that if you will, because that was a beautiful story you told us. Oh, uh, well, yes, um, you know, hands on contact with people. We were actually uh, out delivering the food boxes for Ramadan, uh, with Islamic relief. And they're a group of men that uh, in the Bald Eagle neighborhood of DC. And it's kind of like in a corner that nobody really goes to unless they have to. And, um, it you know it was kind of spontaneous. We've been dropping food off. Oh, he froze up. <laughs> Your phone is frozen. <laughs> but anyway, so we want yeah. There you go. Okay, you're back, brother Ibrahim. Maybe not. Okay, Amir. So so this so. Man. Brother, Am I still on? Oh yeah, there he is. Oh, okay, I'm back. You're back. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and there was a, a, a lot of the brothers there were Muslim, you know, and uh, it was time for our Asa prayer, and uh, you know, I I had some prayer rugs in the car, and we had uh, our Imam there, and so we said, "Well, it's time to pray," and one young brother jumped up and he called her then, and. Uh, the next thing you know, it was for you know, people were coming out of the cars and apartments everywhere to make the salat. Wow. You know, and it was like 10 of us out there. It was a sister with the hijab on and everything. I was like, wow, it's like we had a, a street massage. It. And um, it was like really spontaneous. I mean, bro, some of them were crying, you know, after that, wow. you know, because they hadn't prayed in so long. You know what I mean? And, and, and you know, it just kind of tests your heart to, to try to bring the dean and show some generosity, you know, uh, and outreach, you know, so let them know they're not forgotten. You know, they still, you know, some people think they, 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 they just, you know, like some small uh, Uma by themselves, but we all one and we all need to, you know, reach out to each other everywhere we had, all every nook and cranny. Brian. So that's what, yeah. Um, when you just said it, we are one, okay? I had to realize that the future of medicine is vibration, energy, and frequencies. Okay. And that it's a zero point energy field. We're all connected. So when I got this technology put on my phone, I was talking to a friend of mine who told me she had knee pain. I said, oh, really? I said, um, well, I'm going to send you a, a pain boost. She said, oh, really? OK. I went to my phone. And because we are connected, I sent her a boost for pain. I said, so what level of pain are you now? She said, a 10. I said, OK. I sent the boost. I said, drink a little water. I said, what level of pain are you now? She said, oh, about a five. I sent, you know, one more boost. 
I said, what le level of pain? I, she said, I don't feel it. So this is the kind of thing that we can do. You don't have to have $10 to, to have this. You don't even need this phone to do that. For me to send her a boost that has a, a library of ingredients for pain relief, mm -hmm. and she gets it in nanoseconds, and now is out of pain. Think about what we can do as a community, just sending boots. I was in a hair salon, and this kid was kicking his mother and fighting her. Well, I thought about this thing in my hand. I said, oh, no, I can't have this. I pull up calm, and I hit calm, and a boost, because of my intention, I wanted this child to have this calm, and instantly that kid sat down and started drawing on his book, and nobody ever heard another sound. Like so here again, I'm going to have to go back to the, to the basic priest. These people... A lot of these people don't have water. You told her to go. So I want to just go back, Bernetta, pull back a minute from the technology. Let's talk about here again, the basic nutrition that addicts need. Don't, I'm not talking about, regardless of how you get it. Let's, let's just talk because the technology, you're going to have to be connected to people to get the boost. And a lot of these people, you might see them today. You're not, you, Brother Bilal, you know how it is. They come to the meetings and you got to go find their sponsors to go get them. So let's just talk. If you can focus on the herbs and that piece of it and the water and the therapy from that point, regardless of, because this technology, well, first of all, if we're going to continue with this kind of grant, these kinds of grants, we're going to have to convince the policy makers to fund something like that if that technology is widespread. And right now we know what they're doing. All they're doing is trying to uh, uh, give you COVID-19 shots. So mm -hmm. let's just talk about what we can do that's manageable and can reach the people. And, and right now it's not practical with this, this technology, but your expertise on herbology and holistic health, that's what we want to that's what we were trying to get to. Okay. We have every herb, American, the, the Asian herbs, we have such a long list of herbal products. We have people that have put products together that you can first deal with the, the mental issues going on, which will calm your body. And once that's calm, you're not craving. Once your body is getting the right nutrition that is connecting, handshaking, you, you lose those urges. You don't crave the wrong foods. You be, if you're drinking the right water, your body now wants healthy food. You don't want to put that junk back in your body because your blood now is feeling, moving through your body, circulating through your body, and it's dumping all of this waste and toxins out. So we have a water pitcher, a water bottle, and a pump that we're getting ready to introduce to the world. It's been around for 25, 50 years, and the man's name is the water man. He's been for 55 years, he has spent his life developing. He was the first one to create reverse osmosis for the homes. Mm -hmm. He now has some water products that are mobile that you can carry around and put any kind of water, tap water, anything in it. And if when you pull it through the straw, it's now 9.5 pH and it's 99.99% .99 pure of all radiation, chemicals, toxins, poisons. So we have mobile products and if people will leave the Gatorade alone and drink this bottle and put water in it from wherever, it, it, we even have 
technology that you out in the, the lake and it's dirty. When you pull it through to drink it, it's 99.9% .9 clean. So what's the natural answer to someone to methadone? What, what do you recommend? as an alternative to taking methadone for uh, and, 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 and um, those types of therapies for people who are addicted to opioids. Okay. When you have any kind of chemical drug, whether it's methadone, coke, uh, Well, I just want to, because heroin. this is an opioid, this is an opioid talk. I'm right. being very specific. Okay. You now need that pH balance water first. So because number one, so let's 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 take it step by. So number one is good, clean, pure water that helps de detox not only detox but it also hydrates the body. Right. So a, we do know that people. A lot of people walk around. They're not hungry. They're thirsty. That's a book. Right. Brother Bilal, have you ever read that book? No, never heard of that one, but I, I'm, I'm aware of the importance of your water intake. So well, detoxing, so number two. So let's oh, talk about some of the- Oh yeah, you had, look, even in jail, they'll tell you if, if, if you go get locked up and you have a um, narcotic, um habit they tell you to drink even that water's dirty in the in you know in 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 the cell they'll tell you to drink a lot of water that helps you feel better that's true yes so that's a therapy water therapy not only internally but externally that's yeah. number one number two let's the connection between your brain and water in your brain yep. and 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 nutrition in your brain in order to get to the point where your behavior starts to change. Once you're, you're, you're hydrated, your brain function changes. Yep. So then you can be more open. I want to keep going back to Brother Bilal and getting to the point where you are willing to sit still mm -hmm. for a one hour group. Do you know how hard that is for most people to do? Even people who are not addicted? <laughs> Just try it one day. <laughs> if you're not that. But no, so I, I want to just, I, I, and, and for me, because when you're not high and you're eating properly and you're drinking good water and you're doing those things, then you can make good choices. So that's where I'm, I'm coming from, the basic. Let's just get to the basic. What helps you get to the point where you're not making the wrong choices? Then, okay. Okay. then how can you then help people realize what are the, the good choices? Yeah. Okay, I'm working with a group of people that have CBD supplements. These supplements were designed because they own hospices and they were sick and tired of seeing people hooked up to the morphine drips and all of these things and, and giving people a chance to just float away and die. So they decided to change that and use CBD <laughs> instead. And when they began to do that, people weren't going home to their heavenly home. They went back home to their families because they refused to continue the, that morphine and that those, those horrendous drugs with so many side effects that you, know, you now have to rid the body up. So the cannabinoid system, the endocannabinoid system manages everything. And if you're getting CBD to different parts of your body, if you're getting it for just the, the inflammation, just inflammation, now you're getting it for Come on, get it, get it. The, the tranquility, to give you that tranquil feel. Because if you're feeling tranquil, you don't crave nothing but feeling that moment, feeling that peace. 
And when that inflammation start going away, the arthritis goes away, all of those other itises go away because mm -hmm. now you are replacing those chemicals with what, what was naturally put here on earth for us to use, which is the CBD products. Mm -hmm. And now we can get it. We could get hold to some of the best out here. And you talk about changing that condition very quickly. When they started saying, okay, it's medically easy now for you to go in and get medical marijuana. You could go in and get it because if you've got glaucoma, if you have cancer, this takes away the pain. This takes away, and they have research to prove it. It, it worked. So when we can move them from methadone to something simple as CBD and different things that calms every nerve, if you got a central nervous system and it's stressed, you're looking for the drug. You're looking for something to fill that void, you know, and mm -hmm. the more you calm that nervous system, you, you're not running around anymore wired. You have that that feeling that now I could sit down and eat an apple. I could eat some good food. I mean, I don't want that sugary, laden crap. You know, I want some food. And the more we send them to taste it, you know, when these kids told me they don't drink water, they told me they didn't eat fruit because they don't see fruit. All they see is, is, Gatorade and, and, and junk food. So when we expose anybody to the pH water, your body crave it now. You, it ain't up to you. Yeah. Once you've been exposed, you want it. You're just looking for the best water to, to, to sleep at night. That's how we rest and how we really rejuvenate. So it's, it's and it, these are things that are so inexpensive. And see now. Can I, can, can I say something for a second? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, um, many people are familiar with um, prescription sedatives, but also there are several herbs, as you said, uh, that have similar properties. Uh, well known calming herbs such as kava. Uh, you might have heard of valerian root. That's mm -hmm. a good common herb. Yes. And also passion flower yes. can help uh, ease tension and, and relax an anxiety mm -hmm. and also helps to fight insomnia. A lot of people, they just need to rest sometime, you know. So along with a more traditional treatments, and they did a scientific study that actually found that passion flower increased the efficacy of this uh, clonidine and treating opiate withdrawal. So that's, that's one of the things that is found out. Mm -hmm. And also for relieving pain, uh, ginger is a great thing that uh, can soothe your stomach and help you uh, decrease pain and also nausea, uh, as well as uh, white willow bark, you know, that's the substance where they get uh, uh, the substance in aspirin, uh, turmeric, and cherry uh, extract. It's also uh, a great herb that can help you. Yep. Uh, Brother Eman, would you like to? Uh... Yeah, let me add one thing to Sister Bernetta. Yeah, this CBD cannabidiol is pretty popular these days. Um, um, it's, <laughs> you know, if you ask me a few years back, do I think there would ever be a black, black president? I would have said, man, are you crazy? <laughs> and then if the next question after that was, if they had asked me, would they ever in elect somebody like this one that just left out of here? This <laughs> seemed more like an antichrist than anything else. <laughs> and then if somebody had to ask me, would they ever legalize marijuana? I would have said, man, what, what you been smoking? 
what are you tripping on? But anyway, I see all of these things uh, in terms of scriptural time. We in the last days of time when this kind of stuff is happening. Um, I'm familiar with some of the studies about CBD oil, but uh, Bernetta for Muslim population and others, um, we have to use the forms that are more expensive CBD oils that are peer proven and, and research not to have to have zero content of Delta THC5, the, in, the part that intoxicates uh, a person from smoking. I get, exactly. Yeah, and in fact, the one I'm getting ready to start taking, I think it's called Oxygen. They are, it's, it's probably cost twice as much as any of the other ones, but they guarantee mm -hmm. that they get all of the uh, THC out of it. Um, yeah. But um, a lot of the things um, that I, that Bernetta was saying, I resonate with um, because, see, something about human beings. Basically, human beings, we want to feel good. It's that pleasure, pain, um, uh, um, um, what's the word? Uh, uh, continual. The pleasure, pain, continual. And uh, we, we do what, whatever makes us feel good. Mm -hmm. And we start young at stuff, only to find out that truly feeling good is, is not from, it's not anything that you take. It's really good feeling comes from right living, prayer, doing, helping others. Um, I mean, and this society is this society is off the chain, you know. You find the most um, balanced people, and of course, everything you said, you have to eat right. You got to keep your. I know that for a fact because I have sciatica, and I got to do a lot of stuff to keep that inflammation under control. I want to uh, share one thing with you quickly, please. What you're feeling is called a dead butt syndrome. Hmm. So what you want to do, Sciatica. lean over on your counter mm -hmm. and stick your leg straight out. Yep. And then bend it at the knee and pump that leg about 10 times on each leg. And you got to wake that butt up and wake those nerves up that yep. will relieve that sciatic <laughs> nerve. Yeah, <laughs> I also, I'm about to go, go leave on me a counter. Bernetta, yeah. I, I've got an inversion table. That's that's that thing behind my right ear. I'm okay. pointing to it now. That's mm -hmm. my teeter. I hang upside down and that decompresses the vertebrae and lets them rehydrate. But that helps also, a lot. You got to move that butt because oh, yeah. we're sitting down too long. We sit down too much. I've, and, I've got books yeah. with the stretches and all the those maneuvers in it. They're all in YouTube. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. I just wanted to share one more yep. thing. Right now is so much anxiety and depression. Yep. I mean, our kids, our little children, it's so, so, so prevalent. And in order to deal with that, we got to bring the good bacteria to get rid of the bad bacteria. So we got to put some probiotics in our body and, That's right. and deal with the leaky gut, you know, because all that's inflammation. Yep. And the right. microtoxins, the poisons in the body that we are eating, you know, and ingesting, the hormones, which is thyroid and all of those things that are unbalanced. Yeah. Electronic world, all these EMFs that's coming at us from all directions, we have to block it. We got to put everything around us to protect us from it. You know, the right minerals. We just connected with the gentleman that had 
crippling arthritis 10 years ago, and he has uh, super minerals, liquid minerals, and you just put one teaspoon in a, quart, a, a gallon of water, mm -hmm. and our bodies are so depleted of minerals because the soil and everything else is. That's right. And just these little liquid super minerals has changed people's worlds. This In five days, he was no longer suffering from crippling arthritis. Diabetes in certain people in five days because they're getting minerals. And it's just a couple of drops. It's like a real lemony taste to it. But when we get those minerals, and I've always read that Black people have a hard time holding minerals. So, so. Well, well Bernetta, we're going to have to kind of okay. cut it right here. I think we at the end of our time. Okay. You know, and but we're going to invite you back. And, and we want to go into depth maybe next time about specific herbs and, you know, what those herbs do and how, you know, we can get. Okay. Uh, 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 your, your audio shut down, is, uh, Ibrahim. Yeah, he, he said, yeah, he, he shut down. But, but, um, close yeah. it out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Um, uh, Brother Amir. Yes, ma'am. Would I would like to thank uh, Sister B uh, Bernetta for being able to join us on her very busy schedule. Yes, I, oh, very good. Thank you, Sister. I thought, and the job well done, very informative, very enlightening. You helped, you held us spellbound. Thank you. Yep. Um, let me say this too. She makes the very strong argument that if you change your habit from drinking and drugging to uh, doing the things that's going to be vital for your health, that's a new habit. But that's that's an uh, an adaptive had habit, not a non-adaptive habit. And everything I knew a little about everything she said based on um, some of my health uh, problems. But let me say this, I'm getting better, but it's never, I would rather put a nine millimeter to my head than ever take any kind of uh, drink or drug again. Well, can mm. I, can I? Just share. No, don't do that, brother. No, don't do that. I, <laughs> I, I said, have, that's what I say when I'm doing groups. There you know? go. I have a scanner. If you ever want me to scan you, it's no cost. I will do it. I'm yeah. thinking about uh, taking you up on that because you started rolling them proteolytic enzymes <laughs> that all you have to do is push a button. <laughs> Because see, my pain, the sciatic pain comes from nothing but fibrin, which is that, that rogue protein that your immune system is like a vicious cycle. And you got to get those proteolytic enzymes. If you can push a button, yeah. you got bromelain, go. papain, yeah, all yeah, of those. But yeah, you, you can go. push a button and send them to me. Amen. I'm all there for you it. go. I like it. There you go. Look, look. There you go. Well, you got it. You look, got look. it. Look to my Muslim we gonna, brothers. We're going to wrap this up. We're going to wrap yeah. this up. Let me you and Bonetta can, you and Bonetta can push buttons later. But right now, we want you to close this out. Sister you know. Bonetta, let me get your uh, your phone number real quick. All right, we go. We record. It, we record. Uh, we gonna get. Uh, okay. Get your wait, 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 wait. Brother Mir, wait, wait. I'll send it to we'll, you. We we'll close out. Then we we'll keep it on for a minute. Let me close out the recording. Yeah, we we'll so close, close out. out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, then we'll un unrecord. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Let's get right, our closing. Uh, close. we, give we, us our closing. Do up. Uh, yeah, yeah. We we we, we we thank Almighty God, Allah, for um, bringing us together this evening and uh, for seeking his pleasure in trying to help our fellow humanity to get better, get healthier, 
and and most of all stop getting a, get away from these artificial things that satan calls us to call drugs alcohol and other habit disorders so we, we say the, the, the prayer, the dua that more people on this planet say to help them one day at a time from prayer to prayer to stay clean and sober as they recover. And that's the serenity prayer. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Now we'll say Amen. it. We'll say it in the Arabic version. Allahumma imnahni asakinata liya taqabala mala astatiyu tagirahu wa shaja'ata liyu goyira ma astatiyu tagirahu wal hikmata liya rifal forko bainahum. Amen. Amen. All right, brother. Bless Thank you. All. Peace be unto you. Uh, Inshallah, we are talking. Again, and talk more about herbs.